The Substitution, Part 1. Dimitri, I'm packing two shirts, the violet one and the white one we bought in Italy. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. Regina. Why do you always leave me, huh? What can I do? It's work. What if I came with you? <laughs> no, you just behave yourself here and try to have a little fun. By the way, I saw Dennis yesterday. He said Adelina's been discharged from the hospital. Mm hmm Hospital? From the nut house, where he put her himself to take the kids away. I'm sorry to say this. I know she's your friend, but she hasn't exactly been easy to be around lately. So what? So? Even so, that's not an excuse. Dimitri, she's the mother of his children. Well, okay. Then be there for her. Where does she live now? At her grandmother's country house. Well, there you go. Go visit her. I'm sure you could use a break. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, Dimitri, but you used to be against our friendship. Well, it's entirely up to you. Yes, I want to. <laughs> Dima. Hmm. You're the best of the best. Mm -hmm. And I love you so much. Dimitri! Honey, wait up. I just wanted to tell you. You're the most kind, understanding. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry, Olga. My plan. No. Uh... Let's go. Dennis! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Dennis! Hold this. Can I have a word with you? Hey, Olga. Hello. Hello. I heard that Adelina got discharged from the hospital. Yeah, she called and wanted to see the kids. What did you tell her? Well, what else? The kids are in England. She won't see them for another six months. How can you do this? Listen, Olga, don't even start right now. You, you're killing her, don't you see it? Olga, let's not overreact. Everyone does this. So far, no one's died from it. Here, take this. The kid sent it. You could give it to her, but... Tell her not to expect money. But... Sorry, I gotta go. To the airport? No, downtown. I thought you were going to... I said downtown. Got it. They've grown up so much. Timur is completely grown up. Tanya? A little Adelina, right? Looks just like her mom, doesn't she? She's not answering. Must have put it on silent. How could someone take these children away from their mother? Stranger things have happened. You would know. The rich can do anything. That's nonsense, Regina. There are decent people, and then there's Dennis. My Dimitri would never do that. What? It's nothing. No, don't back out now. I didn't say a word. I'm silent. As you should. My husband loves me very much. I'm sure of that. And he's beyond reproach. Love is great. But I think no man is to be trusted even if he is the best and most loving. Why is that? Perhaps, Olga, you should ask for money more often. Why should I? Dimitri gives me everything I ask for. 
Plus, I don't need much. Maybe not now you don't. Well, but what if... But what, Regina? You're so mysterious today. What are you trying to say? No, it's nothing. <sighs> but savings haven't hurt anyone yet. You never know. But at least this way, you'd have something for a rainy day. This is impossible. <sighs> Adeline is not answering. I'm going to go over there right now. Thank you. Excuse me, could you help me? I need to open the door, someone to break the lock. What? Uh, that's my friend's house. She's not responding. Can you help me break the door down? No, I don't think so. Uh, I'll pay you. I'll pay you very well. Oh, yeah? And then the police will bury me alive for that. No way. Please listen to me. Uh, that's my friend's house. She might be in trouble. Can you help me get inside? Just get away from me. It's the things you see. Excuse me. Huh? What's the matter? My uh, car is in the shop. I'm waiting for it. Can I help you with something? It's not about me. It's my friend. She won't... she won't return my calls, won't answer the door, and I don't know what to do now. Ah, uh, let's not guess anymore. Let's go check it out. Yes, thank you so much. Not at all. Let's go. Let's go. I've just been so scared for her. Well, still no answer? No. Let's try to get in, but keep in mind That's we right. might have to break the lock. Yeah, go for it, go for it. Adelina, honey! Her phone's here. Uh-huh. Delia! Delia! Maybe she went out shopping and left the phone behind. I guess so. And I'm here freaking out. Made you break the lock for nothing. Hmm? I'm just stupid. I'll rip her a new one when she comes back. Well, if you want, I can go to the shop and pick up a new lock. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Hush, hush. Don't, don't look at her. Don't. Don't look. Are you relatives? Yes, I'm a friend. She's in critical condition. Notify the relatives. Uh, where are you taking To her? City Hospital number 32. Can I go with you? Not in the ambulance. Uh... So is that your car? Uh, yes. Let's go. One moment. Uh, where are they? Hey, how about I drive? Thanks a lot. Uh-huh. Do you know where Hospital 32 is? We'll catch up with them. I'm sorry to have dragged you into all this. You... you didn't have to... Oh, come on. It's all right. 
to rescue a beautiful lady is every man's dream. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't mind me. I just wanted to dispel the gloom. By the way, I never introduced myself. My name is Vitaly. Olga. Nice to meet you. Excuse me for the indelicate question. Your friend, what happened? We have been friends for ages, since our college years. Then I introduced her to our neighbor, and they fell madly in love. <sighs> well, they got married, and, and then something just went wrong. Sometimes that happens, and nobody's to blame. But then he took the kids away, and had her diagnosed as insane. How could you ever do that to someone? It's all my fault. Oh, come on. How's it your fault? I should have come yesterday. Olga, your friend is lucky. If you hadn't come today... <laughs> I guess. Thank you. How is she? Well, as of right now, she's in critical condition. But although I have some concerns, at this time she's stable. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Yeah. Can I see her? I think not today. We'll keep her in the emergency room for the night. Uh, tomorrow we'll see. Yes, and don't forget to bring her documents. Passport, insurance policy. Uh -huh. If she needs a sick leave. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Hello? In the unit. Excuse it's me, fine. doctor. I prepared the release documents for you. I'm coming. Uh, okay. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you see? It's not so bad. Yes, thank you very much. Forget it. What for? It's nothing. Oh, come on. I don't know what I would have done without you. Forget it. I have no business today. I don't have a wife or a family. As they say, I'm absolutely free until Monday morning. Again, thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> it was really nice to meet you, Vitaly. Mm. Maybe we could get lunch somewhere. Uh, I'd love to, but I really... <laughs> Got it. <laughs> no, I just need to do something in the house for Adelina. I could help out. <sighs> well, here I am. Perfect. How's it going? There we are. It's all finished. So, these are the keys to the new lock. Mm, uh -huh. There you go. Thank you so much. So try not to forget them. And here's our pizza. Pizza? Uh, yeah. I didn't know what you liked, so I got pacho formaggio and mushroom. Mmm. The mushrooms. I love mushrooms. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry if I, uh... It's all right. I should really go home. What home? And the pizza? What do you want now? I'm not huh? talking to you. Hi, sweetie. Do you know you're not his first one today? Olga, stop this. Oh, and he's married. Actually, not anymore. Don't listen of to Of course. Him. Sent his wife to the psych ward, took her kids, then finally she tried to kill herself. She sliced her wrists open. So what? So what? My friend is in the emergency room. Calm down, will you please? 
Aren't you ashamed of anything? Why should I be ashamed? I haven't done anything wrong. We all face judgment someday. So what? Why don't you solve your own problems and stop bothering me? Otherwise, you're gonna end up in the same exact place your friend is. Don't listen to her, she's insane. Let's go inside. She's still in love with you! Moron. Hello, Dimitri, are you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Can you imagine if I didn't get there in time? If I had come a little bit later, she'd be dead for sure. What I saw her in the bathroom in her Olga, blood. I think you're taking all of this too seriously. Dimitri, she almost died and you just... Anyway. We have to do something. Influence Dennis somehow. Maybe you could call him, talk to him. I think that we should just stay out of it. What do you mean? He's driven her to suicide. <sighs> All right. I'm sorry. Anyway, that's a conversation for later. <sighs> How are you doing? How's the weather? It must be warm there in Sochi. Yeah, the weather is stunning here. We'll try and get some rest, too. I will, definitely. Uh, sweetheart, I have to go. I'm sorry, I have another meeting. Uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Do you remember we had a reservation? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Regina, leave it. You can finish that tomorrow. It's my day off tomorrow. Dimitri gave me three days off this week. That's strange. He never used to make those decisions. Olga, if you want me to stay, I can. No, no need. It's all right. Go get some rest. Are you sure you'll be okay? Yeah. It's just been a long day. Good night. Have a good night. Dr. Sergei, how are you? Hello. I'm Adelina Vikina's friend, Olga. Uh, Vikina? Wait, <laughs> it's Medviva. I'm not used to it. After the divorce, she's Medviva. Ah, yes, I remember. Oh, can of I course. see her? I'm really, I'm really sorry. What? You didn't know? She died last night. But how? I'm so sorry. bag. Can you hear me? Miss. Oh, careful. Careful there. Are you okay? Can you breathe? Stay seated. Breathe deeply. Let's go back inside. Are you able to walk? Just hold on to me. We're going to go very slowly. Lean on me. There, hold on. That's it. All right. Oh, your bag. Wait here. Here. I'll get it for you. What's wrong All with right. me? You felt dizzy. Let's go. The stairs. There. There. Careful. Hold on a second. All right. Good. We're almost there. All right. Slowly. What do you mean, pregnant? Just what I said. You're pregnant. No, that's impossible. A doctor told my husband and I a long time ago, we can't have children. I'm infertile. A doctor? <laughs> Take a look. That there? That there is your embryo. Okay, then. 
What do you want, lovebird? Listen, Andre, that's actually why I'm here right now. Well? Could you possibly... Motivate you? <laughs> you got some nerve, don't you? First comes the work, then the money. No, not that. Andre, could I possibly sit this one out? What does that mean? Mm, well, uh, I can't. It's not right. Drop the ball and you're fired. What are you waiting for? Answer it. Pick it up, pick it up. Yes. When? All right, I'll be right there. Hello. Mm. Olga, I'm really sorry. Mm -hmm. You want to go sit down somewhere? Hey. Mm. How are you? Mm, I'm okay. Mm, I just can't wrap my head around it. <sighs> yeah. Olga, I'm really sorry. You should eat something. Uh. Yeah. I just can't. But you have to. You absolutely need to eat. Excuse me, uh, miss? We'd like a tiramisu, a chocolate cake, an espresso, yes? An espresso and a mm. latte. Thank you. The tiramisu here is so good, it can make Italians jealous. <laughs> well, mm. I, uh, I come here often. It's my favorite place. Olga, I know it's none of my business. If you need help with the funeral, then... Oh, yes, the funeral. I barely have any money left on my credit card right now. I don't want to ask Dimitri. Ah. Uh, well, I think I might be able to help. But I'm afraid it won't be enough. No, no, you shouldn't. I have these, these earrings. I think they're expensive. I don't know how much they cost, but it's, it's gold and diamonds, well, so. Well, I guess I wouldn't hurt to try. Uh-huh. Well, it worked. They probably Cost more, but this is quicker. Should be enough to cover the funeral to organize it all. Don't worry. I'll arrange everything. I'll help you. There. Uh-huh. At the bottom. Is that it? That's it. Don't worry. Everything will be top notch. There's just some formalities to be sorted, some details. The coffin. What is it? 
Well, the size, the color of lining, do we decorate it with flowers? What kind? Olga, what were her favorite? Lilies. Lilies. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Perfect. Let's go with lilies. But the color, the lining, uh, the we'll fabric. We'll let you pick those out. All right? Excuse us. Oh, uh, the clothing. We haven't discussed the clothing. We'll do that. We'll choose it, and I'll bring it over tomorrow morning. All right? Sounds good. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Thank you. What's her favorite? It's beautiful. Mm. She looked so beautiful when she wore it. She had a spark in her eyes. I feel like you're falling apart. Yeah, sure. I'll give you a ride. Mm, you don't need to. No, no, Olga, I can't let you drive right now in this condition. I'll drive you. Thank you very much. Olga? Mm. I'm sorry I scared you. Mm -mm. We're it's here. Okay. Mm. Well, thank you for everything. My pleasure. Um, should I call a taxi for you? No, thank you. I got it. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Bye. Mm -hmm. Olga. Uh. The keys. Oh, yes. Uh, bye. Vitaly. Yeah? See you later. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Hello. Not yet. Tomorrow. I'll take care of it tomorrow. Fine, I got it. I got it. <clears throat> What's wrong? Is the taxi taking too long? <laughs> what are you doing? <clears throat> Olga, I'm thinking about you all the time. What are you doing? Let me go. Stay away! Uh, I'll call security. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just thought the way you looked at me, I got You crazy? It. What's wrong? Mm -hmm. Olga, you okay? I'll call an ambulance. No ambulance. I'm pregnant, that's what's happening. Oh. Damn it. 
it. Damn it! Sweetheart. Ah. You're home. I just received something. What's that? You might find it interesting. Understanding. Good morning, Olga. Uh, Dimitri, we need to talk. Then talk. In private. Excuse me, but he's my client. Dimitri, look at me. I'm sorry, I have to go. Dimitri, this is nonsense. This person is just an acquaintance. Just an acquaintance. Huh? I got it. But it's true. We, we met by chance. Uh, uh, he was helping me. Um, we met at Adelina's when he was- Naturally, Adelina's a part of this. Dimitri! Dimitri, listen! When you're finished here, go to the Dimitri. office. Dimitri! What? What do you want from me? Money? You should have thought of that earlier. Dimitri, I'm pregnant. What? Yes, we're gonna have a baby just like we wanted and hoped for. I swear, I, I didn't cheat on you. Olga, may I have a quick word with you? Please, ma'am, I, I... Dimitri! Dimitri! <sighs> Kostya, bring me the keys. Just a second. According to your prenuptial agreement, in case of divorce, you lose all your savings and property obtained during the course of the marriage. This property includes your car. Hold on. What divorce? Kostya, what's going on? Bring the keys. Olga, my client was understanding enough to give you time to gather your belongings. You can go now, but only in the presence of a guard, of course. Kostya, would you be kind enough to escort Miss Olga into the house? Please, after you. Well, if you don't want to, then... When this is all resolved... I am going to fire you, myself. Olga, let me see your bag. What? This is nonsense. How much longer? All set. Here you go. I'll call you a taxi. 
Thanks so much. Olga, you're not supposed to be here. Olga, please, the boss said not to let you in. Are you listening to me? Look, we already discussed everything. Why are you here? Dimitri, listen to me. It's... You want to start a fight with me here? And turn me into a laughing stock? Is that what you want? Don't say that. I'm telling you, there's nothing between me and the man in the photos. Talk to your security service. Let them find him and get proof of it What all. do you need? But I want to have a family with you. I already told you that you and I are done. Anything else? Dimitri, but I- Listen to me. You cheated on me. I want a divorce. And that's final. Dimitri- Please show Olga to the exit. Dimitri! <sighs> Yeah. Well, hello. Hello? What are you doing here? I thought you were on vacation with your fiancé. Uh... This again? Can't you just leave me alone? So you and her. Olga, I'm sorry about this. Get in the car. You're sorry? Dimitri will be late. I know. When did you even find the time? Just calm down, okay? We're all adults here, and we need to settle this like adults. Ah, oh, so all those business trips, you were with her? Let's go. Hey! You can't just leave me! Olga, what's going on? Olga, what is it? Olga, what's wrong? I need help! Somebody call an ambulance quickly! Olga, uh, Olga, stay with me! Olga, they're coming! Uh, Olga, I need uh, you to stay with me! Uh, hold on, girl, hold on. We are almost there, okay? Where are you taking me? Doctor, I think we're almost ready. Is that endometrectomy? Yes. No, wait. I'm okay. I'm just pregnant. I'm feeling better. Yes, honey, just calm down, okay? Quiet. Yeah. Okay, so I'm leaving for a week or two. Meanwhile, draft the documents. We'll finalize the divorce when I return. Did you get all that? <laughs> That's all. That's it. You're all mine now. <sighs> Maybe I was a little too harsh with her. She is my wife. Hey, come on now, my sweetheart. <sighs> Maybe you're right. Attention, please. Alitalia Aircraft 560 arriving from Milan, Italy. Attention, please. Alitalia Aircraft 560 arriving from Milan. You're awake now. Well, that's great. How does your head feel? Are you dizzy at all? Can you try to sit up? Ugh. It will hurt for a little while. 
There'll be some blood, but don't worry. Most importantly, you'll start feeling better by tomorrow. Is my baby okay? It's good that you got here immediately. It was a pretty tough situation. But you pulled through, you're okay. What about my baby? You had a miscarriage. We also found some very serious inflammation. I'm sorry. I think no man is to be trusted even if he is the best and most loving. Perhaps, Olga, you should ask for money more often. Why don't you solve your own problems and stop bothering me? Otherwise, you're going to end up in the same exact place your friend is. Here is your compensation. And this is from me, as a way to express my admiration and appreciation. I didn't know you had a talent like this. Oh, come on now. Why the long face? You should be happy. Easy job and the payment is more than fair by my standards. Also, I have decided that from now on, you'll be taking all jobs like that. No thanks, it's not for me. I fell for it once. Like a fool, I can't sleep now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you think this is all because of you? Come on now. It would still end like this. If not you, there'd be someone else. Not now, but in a year or two. We just accelerated things, so to speak. When I came to you, what did you tell me? We'll be solving problems. Well, that's what this was. That, no, that's a problem. That was low. And I still did it. In short, from mm. now on, I'm staying out of this kind of work. If you disagree, I'm leaving the company. All right, I got it, I got it, I hear you. But keep in mind, if you want to earn more and not get your hands dirty, that just won't do. What's that? A watch was stolen from a restaurant. It was one of ours. We need to find it and return it. It's your <sighs> job to solve it. Mm hmm you're too sensitive, Vitaly. You're mm. sentimental. In our business, feelings are an obstacle, and you must leave them at home. Mm. Just a moment, Andre, my daughter. Hello? Yes, Gosha. Wait, wait. Why are you crying? Calm down. Tell me everything. Is your mother there? Where did she go? All right, stay right there. Gosha, I'm on my way. Absolutely fine. I'm going to be fine. Russia. <laughs> oh, quiet, quiet there, quiet. It's okay, it's okay. Calm down. Stop crying. Where's your mom? Okay. I was sitting and watching. The cartoon ended, but Mom is still out. And I got scared. And? I called Mommy, but she didn't answer the phone. So, Daddy, I called you the way you taught me yeah. to. That's right. You did the right thing, sweetie. 
There, there. Calm down. Come here. Dad, okay. When is mom coming oh, home? She'll be back very soon. Hello? Hello, Valya. How are you? It's me, Olga. Olga Kozreva. Kozreva? Hello. Um, listen, uh, do you think that you'd be able to take me on? To work? For me? Uh, well, yes. You said you wanted an assistant. Well, so, I would like to try to work for you if I can. I can't hear you very well. Volya, hello. Um, you said that you wanted an assistant, so I'd like to give it a try if you'll give me a chance. Valya? <sighs> Hi, Katya. Mr. Call, I'm so sorry. I heard what happened to you. I can't believe it. How are you? Do you need help? God, dear, dear, I'm so glad you called me back. I figured you didn't want to talk to me, just like everyone else. Hey, what are you saying? Are you... where are you? You must be upset. Stop that immediately. Where are you? Want me to come over? Um... Katya, perhaps I could come to you instead. Huh? Come on, come on, come on, pick it up. Damn it. Where could you be? Mm, what's this? Give it to me. All right, I think we're on this one. Dad, I think right. we stopped on this one. Here, really? Come, right here. This one, right? Yes, I think it was this one. Ah, that one. Um, I'll give you the wings, and the pearl will teach you to fly. Hmm? That's not even what hurts me the most. Okay, fine. He was in love, he fell out of love. I know anything can happen like that. But why like this? Couldn't it have been more humane? Well, did you know about her? Well, of course I didn't. Well, Natasha told me you knew about what happened and had an affair out of spite, then Dimitri found out and left you. Your Natasha is an idiot. I didn't have an affair. It was quite the opposite. I thought we were fine and... I see. So now you're without a husband and penniless. Pretty much. That sucks. Listen, did he ever hit you? What, are you crazy? Well, if he did, we could leak this information and sell it to a newspaper or something. I can find out how much they would pay for this. Katya, I'm begging you, please don't do that right now. But, hun, this is a great opportunity for you. I said no. I decided to look for a job for now. Hmm. I wonder what job. A secretary? So, well, why not a secretary? Oh, yeah? Oh, darling. The problem is, you're about ten years late for that position. I'm sorry to say that. All right, Katya. Thank you for dinner. Hun, did I offend you somehow? No. No, I really need to go. Goodbye. Olga? Olga! Wait, Olga! And of course, both the pearl and the dolphin both agreed. Come here. Time for bed. Here we go. Okay, okay. And they lived happily ever after. Isn't that quite the sight? All right. Where have you been? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh, come on, come on, come on. 
Are you drunk? Ugh, here we go. I'm not drunk, I'm just tipsy. Mm -hmm. Had a drink with friends. Mm -hmm. Consider it a business dinner. Mm. Just a bit? Mm-hmm. Business dinner? Mm-hmm. Hey, have you lost your mind? Mm. You told Glass you'd be back in five minutes. Big deal. I used to be home alone since I was three. Still alive. <sighs> Victoria, she called crying. Hey, don't tell me how to live my life. Better yet, give me some money. You know I need to pay a deposit for that salon space. So sick mm -hmm. of hearing about this salon, huh? Salon. You need money, you say? Yeah! You're welcome. Here you <gasps> go. Is that all you need? You got paid! Oh! Oh! You are no, my little enough. bread Victoria, winner. don't touch me. Sit down. Oh, I promise you I won't leave her alone for so long. <gasps> well, if you want, if you want, I can leave work early tomorrow and we could go to the park, to a cafe. We'll be the perfect family, you know? After, we can go to the movies together. Don't be mad, please. I won't do it again, Victoria, I promise. Victoria, hey, will you I stop did, shouting? Glush is asleep. I promise I won't do it again. Ah, uh, please don't be mad at me. Executive assistant, sales manager, housemaid. Anyone there? Oh, good morning. Mm -hmm. We're glad to see you. We have a special offer for the new collection. Would you like to take a look? Uh, no, thank you very much. Another time. Mm -hmm. You know, my husband bought a dress for me from your shop, but it doesn't fit me at all. Oh, that's no problem. We'll exchange it for you. No, I would prefer some cash back. Cash back? Um... Unfortunately, we can't do that. We only take exchanges and returns within the first two weeks. Mm. Perhaps you could make an exception? This dress is expensive, and I really don't know what to do with it now. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do to help you. Good morning at last, Anatoly! We were expecting you yesterday. The tailor made the necessary adjustments. Just a moment. Olga? Olga! Kozreva! <laughs> Hello! Hello. Didn't recognize you. How are you doing? I heard about you and your husband. He's a real monster. What are you doing here? Oh, already bought something. Oh. Anatoly, thank you so much. If not for you, they would never have given me the money back. You should thank my darling Ludmila. You know how much she spent here last time? You could buy a car with that money. <laughs> She's one extravagant woman. Last time, she bought 17 pairs of shoes. Ugh. Wow. You like it? It's stunning. <laughs> we were lying on the sofa, watching TV. There was a guy with the same car. Next day I go outside, and there it is, even tied with a bow. She goes, I saw the spark in your eyes last night. I wanted you to be happy. <laughs> That's my love, Ludmila, the best woman. Oh, yeah? Stop staring and get in. You'll drop me of off? So, what's your plan now? Not sure. I guess I'll try to move on. Olga, I'm sorry. I know you're stressed, but right now you look just awful. Mm, it's really nice. <laughs> well, it's partly true. Black circles under your eyes, your skin is gray. Oh, you know what? We should go to a spa together. Ludmila and I have a gold card with one. You'll keep me company. And what about your dear Ludmila? She's out on business right now. It'll be a week at least before she's back. Say yes, Olga. You'll sit in the sauna, get a massage. Maybe the right thoughts will even come into your head while you're there. By the way, there will be a lot of decent men there. Mm-hmm. You'll start a new life. Anatoly, please, let me figure out my old life first. <sighs> I just don't know how. How? How? That's easy. 
Go find this Vitali, take him to Dimitri, and the two of them can sort it out amongst themselves. Easier said than done. He won't answer my calls. Olga, stop being a child. Give me the number. I'll go ahead and check the name on the account. And you start remembering what else he told you about himself. Anything can help. Well, nothing special. His name was Vitali. Right. He's not married and has no kids. Okay, wonderful. Listen, he took me to a coffee shop. He mm -hmm. said it was his favorite place to go to. Let's go. Let's go. All right, two limoncellos. Hello, miss. How are you doing? Hello. Um, and what is your name? Olga. Oh, me too. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You know what, Olga? I have a somewhat bizarre question for you. I'm actually looking for someone. We came here together, and he mentioned he often comes here. Here, his name is Vitali. Well, yes, I saw him. Perhaps you know something about him, where he lives, or maybe where he works? <laughs> no, of course not. How would I? And why? Indeed. <laughs> but he comes here often. Maybe not every day. Or just a double espresso, sometimes some pastries. Mm -hmm. But who he is? Mm. I see. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Could I have some more coffee? Mom, Mom, look at me. Here we go, here Just tell we him go. money first, Mom. then a romantic <laughs> dinner. What's the problem? Yeah. Mom. Well, uh, Mommy, Mom. We'll be nice. Mom, look at me. Listen. Mom. Listen, you know it yourself. Victoria, that's enough, what? okay? What? what? Hold on. What? What? Nothing. We wanted Dad, to Mom, spend time stop together. Arguing. Well, We're not, sweetheart. We're just talking. I... Mom and Daddy yeah, are just that talking. That sounds good. Can we go I'll into call you back, cream? okay? Ice cream? Of course. Let's go. You want ice cream? <laughs> you promise. Ice cream, huh? <laughs> All right. Victoria, let's yeah. go. Mommy, where are you? I'm coming. Yeah, that sounds good. Just tell me where. Uh-huh. Come the on, strawberry come one? On. Mm. Come on, get inside, get inside. I also want to try mango. <sighs> Olga, I'm about to break into tears myself, just looking at you. I'm doing just fine right now. Yeah, I see how fine you are, sulking over there. You're better off crying right now. <sighs> he lied to me, you understand that? Everything he said was a lie. And I just don't understand why. I think that it's pretty clear. He just wanted to, to fool around, so he lied to you about himself. No, it's not that. It's just... There was no flirting. We actually met by chance. Honestly, I found him. He was very helpful, supportive, compassionate towards me, but not, you know... Olga, you're... You're being a bit naive. <sighs> and men will use that against you. They will. Use how? Come on. He got another phone number for Fling so that his wife wouldn't know. And then he asked a friend to register the number in her name. That's it. What are you talking about? The number you gave me is registered in a girl's name. A young girl by the name of Anna Kruchkova. And she's a secretary at a company called Ear Consult. Ear Consult? Yeah, Ear Consult. Well, this is a first. Oh, this is definitely beyond my comprehension. Why would a normal person register a phone in somebody else's name? Olga, Olga, Olga.
Vitali, Anna Khrushcheva, the secretary, your consult, Dimitri. Register at the security room. Hello. Can you tell me how to get to ear consult? Uh, up the stairs. Keep right at the corridor. Well, you'll Vitaly, see it. Keep in mind the uh, situation is difficult, and you must proceed carefully. You understand? If the kid snaps, we're finished. His father will give me a night of terror, and we can't have that. He'd be better off looking after his son. He'd be better off thinking of ways to reform his son and return him to his father. Anya, do you know how to ride a skateboard? Well, well this is basically yes. the same, but a thousand times better. Imagine you flying through the waves, the wind in your face. Hello. Oh, you're lost. The office you need is next door. Um, no. I'm in the right place. Oh, perfect. Yarek, go fetch the SIM cards. Hey. A lot of people mistake us for the travel agency. It's down the hallway. Mm -hmm. Come in, please. Did you make an appointment with Andre already? Our boss. He usually meets with the clients himself. You missed each other by a minute. They just left. Oh, how unfortunate. Um, perhaps you can help me. <clears throat> it's quite urgent. I see. You must be interested in outside surveillance. Your husband cheating? Don't worry. A lot of people come to us. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Oh, really? Of course, it's always better to know the truth. If your husband is cheating on you, we'll find out. And if you wish, we'll help take the necessary steps, like divorce consulting, division of property, search for secret bank accounts, and so on, you know. Mm. So I guess many people turn to you? Well, women, not that many. But men, they always have problems, tons of them. The boss has just left to tackle another one for one of our regulars. Can't deal with his own son. It started when his son was young. <laughs> he spoiled him with everything. And now he needs our assistance almost every week. Your company's activity is very diverse. Well, our clients' problems are our problems. That's our motto. Well, mm -hmm. I'm blabbering. Andre, our boss, will explain everything to you much better than I can. He always meets with the clients one-on-one. -on -one. Mm, I see. Um, you know, I heard about one of your employees, Vitali. He was highly recommended to me. Hmm. How about some coffee? Yes, please. Yeah, Vitali. he works here. Whoever recommended him was right. Vitali is definitely the best employee we have. Did you hear me? Piss off! I'm having a party, I'm having a party! Enough, <laughs> enough. The party's over. Get off of me! <laughs> the party is over. It's time for you to go home. <laughs> Piss off. I'm not going anywhere. No. We've just enough. started. Stop attracting so much attention. The assault on the manager's taken care of. They won't press charges. That's enough. Get out of here. I'm not going anywhere. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? <laughs> what did you pee your pants? Chicken out, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Could you take him somewhere uh, already? It hurts! Enough. Somebody help me! That's enough. Uh, Don't worry, they'll be back soon. You know what? I better... I better come by here another time. Thank you for your hospitality. Uh, for us, clients are always... Well, listen. Do you actually like working here? What do you mean? What I said. It's just that what you call your client's problems are, in essence, their dirty laundry that you have to go through and clean up for them. No? You don't agree? Uh, 
I'm sorry. It's just that it's been a long day. Excuse me? It's okay. Anya, I... the passport and the SIM cards? Excuse me. Thank you, Yarek. Thank you won't do. We're going roller skating by the water this Saturday. <laughs> These are for work. Yes, of course. Hello? Yes. It's Vitaly. Hang on. Yes, Vitaly. It's so good that you called now. Sorry? Uh, okay, fine. I'll call him. Uh, mm-hmm. Yes, I will. Vitaly, tell me, when are you coming back to the office? Uh-huh. There's a client here for you? What? Yes. A client? Listen, I'll kill you! I told you to be uh, quiet. Uh, Does she have a name, Anna? Well, of course. Would you like me to put her on the phone? Anna, listen, uh, 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 just take her number and I'll call her back, okay? You know All they right, won't do anything enough. to me uh, anyway. Come on. Vitaly is busy. He asked you... You see, it's a whole business. They rid their clients of their problems. My husband paid them so they would set me up. Yes, it's a very sad story. Well, are you gonna publish it? Olga, I'm sorry this happened to you, but I'm afraid that's not within our scope. Well, uh... But, but... And we don't pay money for stories like this. Actually, maybe we could go back to discussing the... Uh... Fine. I don't need any money. Can you publish it anyway? You don't have enough information. What do you mean, not enough? I brought you everything. It's all there, a complete expose. The story will be huge. We'll uncover an organization whose only job is to help the rich and powerful get away with everything. Olga, I would really like to help you with this situation. That's why I suggest getting back to the original idea. A horrible husband, a miserable wife, assault, drugs, extramarital children. That's for us. But not for me. Ah, uh, Dimitri. Ugh. Olga! Hey, what? I've heard there are some go-to guys who solve sensitive problems, but to this extent, I think you... I think you might have gotten yourself into serious trouble. That's true. Good thing they didn't kill you. Like they would have in the 90s. How would you know about the 90s? You were just crawling around back then. My dear Ludmilla has told me. Uh, of course. You know what she had to go through back then, poor thing. Mm. So what's next? Spa? Right now I have a better idea. All right. But I'll need your car for it. <laughs> right. No, 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 Anatoly, no, 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 no. a couple hours, no more. I'd sell my liver before I give you my car right now. Anatoly, please, it's very important. Hmm? Fine. Consider me your personal driver. Get in. Thank you. Uh-huh. Yes, of course, Vladimir. I got it. I'll take care of everything right away. I'll call you as soon as I have any news. Goodbye. Vitaly. Mm. 
What in the world? Ah, uh, well, I just wanted to see what happened in the end. <laughs> what for, Vitaly? N- no reason. No just reason. Curious. Conscience stricken. Conscience stricken. <laughs> Come on, let it go. A woman like this, these women, are always asking for it. But this time we helped out, huh? Really? She should have known better than marrying someone like that guy. She's lucky they don't have kids. You know what they do in that case? Put them in a loony bin, just so they're able to get full custody of the kids. Speaking of that, that's why I'm here. Sherikov has called. We need to follow his son again. Will you take care of it? Mm, easy. Well done. Uh-huh. Andre, hold on. What? Do you mind if I leave early today? Why not? You got it. Hey, hey, careful with the coffee, please, okay? You could help me. See, I was careful. I appreciate it. (sighs) We should have found out if he's even in the office today or not. He is. I called, told the secretary that I'm a client, and promised to come by. Well done. Mm. Look at you. You're a real detective. (laughs) Sherlock Holmes. Drop it. What if I really started my own detective bureau? I'll tell my darling Ludmila, and we... We'll organize everything. (laughs) There he is. Here. Start the car. Hold this. Come on, let's go. What is he doing here? It's my house. Well, it used to be. Maybe he missed you. Very funny. <laughs> maybe he's here to see Dimitri? Or maybe he's just looking for you. But why? I'm Olga's friend. We met recently, and then she disappeared. I took her here once, so I thought maybe... She doesn't live here anymore. Ah. But is she all right? I'm sorry, I don't know. My job is ironing, cleaning, and cooking. Come on. It's clear at first sight that you're a very valuable employee and devoted to the house and the family. What is this about? This is for you. For my intrusion. But I didn't tell you anything. Will you? I don't know her new address. That's my card. Just in case. Will you call me when she turns up? If she turns up. Quiet. Get down. Stop. Where are you going? Follow him. We need to know where he lives. Wait. Olga! I'll call you later. Olga! If you were hoping to see Dimitri, then... He's away. Yes, I know. You must have come for your belongings? 
No. <clears throat> Regina, a man just came here. Yes, how did you mm -hmm. know? What did he want? Was he looking for me? He asked me to inform him as soon as you turn up. I see. Regina, please, I need to ask you for a big favor. If he calls or comes by here again, uh, please don't tell him anything about me. Don't talk about me at all. Okay, I won't. How's it going around here? Without me? Well, it's okay. And you? Could be worse. Olga. Hmm? Olga. Forgive me. What for, Regina? I knew he was having an affair. I knew he was cheating on you. I should have told you, but my husband has been unemployed since the new year, and we have kids. I just couldn't risk it. I understand, Regina. It's all right. I understand. Just don't forget what I asked you, okay? I won't. Thank you. How's it going? <laughs> Hello, Anatoly. <laughs> so, what information do we finally have about Vitaly? We have nothing. Just his address and phone number. Mm -hmm. We also have a picture of his wife here. I saw her at the coffee shop already. Yeah? You know, she's not bad. Nice lips. Mm. Okay, enough. Okay, okay, I'm done. What are we gonna do now? I don't know. First, we need to understand what he wants from me. Mmm. Listen, maybe he'll agree to appear in court. If you want, I can appear in Hold court. Hold on. I think I have an idea. Hello, Regina. Hello, yes, it's me. Sorry for the late call. Um, do you remember that man from earlier, Vitali? Did he happen to give you his phone number? Oh, great. Could you tell him something about me? Always on guard, huh? <laughs> Where were you? Uh, I stopped by Lena's birthday party to congratulate no. her. You see, it's important, all the contracts and everything with the salon stuff. So I had to go be there. You know what gifts her husband got her for her birthday? A trip to France. Mm. Mm. You're judging me now. I see it like, like, mm. you know what I'll tell you? I've been an adult for a while now. That's right. Mm. You are. Mm. Mm. You have been an adult for a while now. Mm -hmm. For God's sakes, you're a mother, Victoria. Mm -hmm. You're not some child that can come home like this. You have a husband, Victoria. You have a daughter. Oh, here we go again with our favorite tune to yes, sing. Yes, 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 <laughs> Victoria. A tune about what matters. It's important. It's a child, Victoria. She's just a child. Maybe I just don't give a damn, all right? Have you ever thought about that? No, probably not. <sighs> what if I don't care about any of it? What if I don't care about you? What if I don't care about this child? Maybe the biggest mistake I ever made in my life was meeting you. If, if I... <sighs> If I had had an abortion back then, I could just live in Monte Carlo right now and my life would be completely different! I just hate Shut you! Up. 
gosh, it's asleep. <laughs> I just hate you. Hello. Who is this? Ah, oh, Regina. Yeah, yeah. Have you heard anything from Olga yet? <sighs> Jogging in the park every morning? From 11 to 12, right? Okay, which one? Hello. Hello. Uh, what are you doing here? Heading to work. Uh. Mm. So you go jogging here? Mm, yeah, I do. You look great. Uh, thank you. You too. <laughs> I've been trying to find you. I wanted to say... What? I feel terrible for missing your friend's funeral. Hmm. Well, things happen. Things happen. Okay, I have to go. I have to go to work. I'll see you later. Mm. Mm. Of course. You're not making any sense. What pictures? Mom, it's Daddy. He's kissing some lady in the pictures I found by the door. Okay, go to your room. Come on. You wanted to see me? Yes, um, have a seat. Would you like something to drink? No, Tea, nothing. Coffee? No. I don't know where to start, um. It's all very. I want. 
to tell you everything. I hope you'll understand me. I'm trying to make this right. But I don't expect uh, you to understand me. I just want you to know. Uh, mm -hmm. Everything that's happened to you since we met, it's all an act. Oh, really? Yes. Mm. Yeah. How can I explain? I... I usually don't take cases like that. My work is completely different. I usually deal with debts, solve problems with rich kids. I do other things. I don't mess with this. I told my boss, but my situation was, dear God, you must be completely confused. It's okay. Our so-called encounter when we went to the cafe, how I made a move on you, Everything that happened was all for those photos to give to your husband so he can get a divorce. There, that's it. All right? I understand. What do you... What do you understand? What do you understand? They paid me to sleep with you. Do you understand that? So why didn't you? Pictures in bed would have been so much more convincing. Well... I didn't know you were pregnant. No, had I known that you were pregnant, I'd never... Olga. Don't you dare. Don't you dare talk about my baby. Olga. Olga, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Wait, listen. I understand you hate me now, but please, please tell me what I can do to fix this. Tell me what I can do. You can't fix it. Just leave me alone. Hold on. Oh, my God. I know it's hard. Your husband, you deserve better, but... Maybe it's all for the better. Well... Maybe you'll be happy with that guy, the one you're with in the park. Maybe you'll be happy with him. You'll make a great mom. Enough. There is no baby. There won't be one. They couldn't save it. Do you understand that? The doctor said it happens due to stress. I had been trying to get pregnant for so many years, and nothing worked at all. I went to various cl clinics all over the world, and I took pills. I underwent different examinations. And they said that there was... Absolutely no chance that I would ever get pregnant. And then when I finally got pregnant, then you... What do you want from me? What? You want me to forgive you. I will never forgive you. 